It is currently a little bit before 5.30 a.m. and we are walking around the mostly empty streets of Prague. We've been in Prague for about three or four days and we haven't seen any tourist attractions yet because we've been waiting until we could make ourselves get up at 4 a.m. to go and try to see them without any crowds. So we're gonna try to do that today. And so far, it's looking pretty promising. just about to Old Town Square and it is so dead in these streets right now. This is turning out even better than I was expecting. Yeah. This is the biggest crowd we've seen so far. Yeah, the crowds in Prague are ridiculous. <laughs> There's a few people around, but it's about 10 minutes until the clock hits the hour and there's nobody standing in front of it. Normally there's like 100 people or more standing in front of that clock waiting for it to go off. Yep. And there are zero. Not a one. There's a dog. Dogs are always a great start to the day. This is our crowd that we're waiting with at the clock. Since we've been here, we haven't even gone to the other side of the Charles Bridge, and already this city is easily the most beautiful city we've seen on this trip so far. I love all of the gold accents that are on all of the buildings, like even behind us right now, you can see. It just adds a nice touch to all of the already beautiful buildings. There's another dog. Our crowd left and now we are literally the only people standing out here in front of the clock. So Old Town Square was definitely a success. The biggest group there was a couple taking their <laughs> wedding photos. So now we just have a 10 minute walk to Charles Bridge and the streets in between Old Town and the bridge have been surprisingly even more dead than the walk here. So, it's looking good. The way we've been doing it, where we've been pretty much hanging out near our Airbnb, which is farther outside of the city, there's been a lot more local places. It's been interesting being able to um, see more what real people's lives are like the city is just I think pretty much every store is a tourist trap and yeah. um, there's, there's a few there's a few places but you kind of have to go like outside of the square um, it's kind of crazy how much cheaper it gets when you just go a few streets down <laughs> so it's a solid three people on the bridge Every video that we've seen of the Charles Bridge has pretty much been people shoulder to shoulder on it. <laughs> yeah, so this is a nice change. Okay, there are a few more people now that we're over, but like... Like less than 20. Yeah. It's about 6.45. There's still nobody here really on the bridge as you can see behind me. We sat and admired it for a while and now we're gonna walk over to the Prague Castle. Uh, not sure how long of a walk it is but looks to be a little bit of a ways off so hopefully we can make it there before it gets crowded but it's still pretty quiet around here so it's looking good. So far I think the only bad thing about this plan is that there seems to be no place to get food or coffee so I think we're just gonna be stranded out here on our own for a while oh god that looks so cool whoa <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. 
looks so much higher. <laughs> um, and there's maybe like five people walking around here. And it's massive, so feels like we have it to ourselves. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> I cannot believe how empty it is. Oh my god, you look so small. <laughs> crazy how quiet it is in here right now. There's still a few people walking around, but it's like if you just get to the right area, it's completely silent. And it's insane. It's so crazy how intricate everything, even like including the doors are and how long they've been here. It's so insane. Yeah, me too. There have been a few people just on a run. Can you imagine your morning run being around the Prague Castle? <laughs> it's kind of insane to think about. It'd be a beautiful run. Never get old. <laughs> no. They even have some uh, cute uh, gargoyles. They look very nice and sweet. I don't know what this woman did to deserve this, but there is a pipe coming straight out of her mouth. <laughs> that looks kind of painful. Oh, she's the only one that has it too. Uh, must have been a horrible person in her past life. I think these castle doors look so cool. This really feel castle-y. <laughs> How would you describe it? I don't know. Castle is all I got. I mean, just like imagine somebody like a thousand years ago coming up and banging on the mm -hmm. handle thing. <laughs> Feels cool. <laughs> so now that we're looking, we have noticed that a lot of the statues also have the pipes coming out of their mouths. So at least it's not just that one girl. Feels a little bit better. <laughs> This guy's eyes, they're just popping out. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It is now a little bit before 8 a.m. and we have already hit all of the tour stops that we wanted to for today. And we successfully did that without running into any crowds. So I think getting up at 4 a.m. is the way to do it. <laughs> I love getting up early. <laughs> yep. So now our next mission is to find some breakfast. Luckily, it looks like there are no places open near us, um, so it'll be an adventure to get to our next spot, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But look how pretty, look how pretty our walk down is. You look like you're having fun. It's because I know there's food coming. Forcing Sabrina to go to a place that's really far away. But I think it'll be worth it. <laughs> How far away are we going? It's like 40 minutes. It's not too bad. But like everything's like that far. It is currently week four of our trip and Sabrina still has not figured out that she needs to bring her sunglasses wherever we go. I don't think you brought them a single place actually. No, I don't think I have either. It, uh, <laughs> it's pretty bright. Yeah, and, and every time she's like, oh, I need to bring my sunglasses. <laughs> she's been saying it like almost every day for the past four weeks. No, still has not done it. Not almost every day. We've okay, but like multiple days. times a week. Multiple times a week. Yeah. <laughs> not only is he dragging me to a place far away, but he's making me speed walk there as well. Somebody gets aggressive when they're hungry. <laughs> we may have found a spot, but it doesn't say prices, so Marshall's looking it up so that we don't spend way too much money. Good? Okay, let's do it.
Thank you. Thank you for letting us stop early. We just took a much needed three hour break at the cafe that we found. And now it's 12.30, we don't really know what to do next. So I think we're just going to go back to the locations we were at earlier and show you how crowded they can get around, I would assume this is like peak tourist hours. So Yeah, it's, it's around noon, lunchtime, already way busier than it was before. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, we are coming into Old Town Square. Yeah, it's a good bit busier. A few more people out. Still not bad though. We came by a couple days ago and it was definitely busier than this. All the tourist traps are thriving right now. Minus the horses. The horses aren't getting any love. Now we're going to see how busy the Charles Bridge has gotten in the last few hours. It is now, what time? 12.30 or something. Okay. Not even on the bridge and this is already more of a crowd than I'm happy with. Oh my goodness gracious. Zoink, Scoob. I am officially happy with our decision to get up early today. Uh, it's pretty busy. I can't believe we are voluntarily doing this for the second time today. But, curious how many people are at the top. Those poor guards have to be sweating so much. So we are here and so is everyone else. Everywhere that we visited earlier is definitely more crowded now. This one's not as bad as I thought. I'd be happy coming here during this. This is <laughs> I don't know, one of the coolest sights I've ever seen. Yeah, absolutely. And seeing as you're like looking up above all the crowds here, crowds don't really make a difference until people start yelling. Everything today has been so wonderful. No this... wonder there's so many people that come here. Yeah. Because... It's all been fantastic. <laughs> so now that we have seen everything twice, we are going to go get some lunch. Goulash. Hopefully cheap lunch, because we bought six coffees this morning. <laughs> we feel like a lot of this video has been just us complaining about crowds, so we just want to make it clear that all of these places are crowded for a reason. They're amazing, very beautiful, very fun to explore, and we just wanted to find a way that would make it a little bit more enjoyable to visit them, and we succeeded in that. But in revisiting them again today, I think we agree that even if we didn't get up super early, it definitely would have been worth the experience. Great experience either way. Yeah. The first the first way I would definitely prefer. Yeah. <laughs> we made it to our lunch spot. I don't want to jinx it. This may be the cheapest lunch we've had so far. But I probably jinxed it. We both got some goulash for lunch. And Marshall's so happy. <laughs> That was very good. <laughs> what are you now? Rest. Dessert. I don't know. We made it home. <laughs> and we're gonna rest for a long time. Well, we told ourselves we were gonna go out and be social tonight since we have made no new friends on this trip. But we crashed harder than we expected, so it is now 8 o'clock, four hours after we got home, and we just went down to the kebab shop downstairs, and we're going to eat and then go to bed. The kebabs in Europe are very good. But we have like four days left here, so hopefully we'll do something other than lay in bed all day for the next four days. We will. Maybe. Today was pretty exhausting. We're not filming today, but I just wanted to note that I finally remembered my sunglasses um, after Marshall called me out in the video we made yesterday. <laughs> Only took like three weeks, but I finally remembered. She'll forget tomorrow. Yeah, probably. Now we're gonna see how busy the Charles Bridge has gotten in the last few hours. Ah! Yes, we are. <laughs> you almost made me trip over a scooter. Dangers of... The dangers of filmmaking in public. The vlogging in public. We're not filmmakers, that sounds too classy. 
I don't know what to say about it. I'm horrible at describing things. It's so pretty. Me likey. Yeah. <laughs> you spit all over me. <laughs>